Uh-oh. Recently, clips have been going around showing off some classic Kiriko tomfoolery. Players will try to teleport to a teammate only to end up somewhere completely unexpected. Although unexpected, the faulty teleport destination isn't random, it's the world origin. The world origin is the point in space where the values of the X, Y, and Z axes are all zero. When Kiriko's swift step cannot find a valid teleport position, it sends her to these coordinates. This commonly occurs when Kiriko teleports to a teammate right as they switch heroes. But why exactly does this cause an invalid teleport? Swift Step has a cast time of about 0.2 seconds, meaning there is a 0.2 second delay between pressing the ability key and the actual teleportation. Many abilities in Overwatch have a cast time, but Swift Step has a certain vulnerability in its logic. First, the ability requires a nearby teammate to activate. Let's call this teammate the target entity. Shortly after a target entity is selected, this ability retrieves this entity's current coordinates and teleports Kirigo there. See the problem? These coordinates can change after the target entity is chosen, but before the actual teleportation. A good demonstration of this can be made using Reaper's Shadow Step. If Reaper teleports within this 0.2 second time frame, Kirigo follows him to his new position. A more extreme example would be teleporting to Sombra just before she warps to her translocator. The key takeaway here is that Kiriko's teleport destination is not determined when the ability key is pressed. Instead, the key press selects a player to eventually teleport to later on. Although this can be disorienting, it's fairly benign. The worst you might end up with is a very confused player. But let's take this a step further. What if the target entity stops existing within this 0.2 second time frame? If this happens, the ability can't retrieve valid coordinates when it's time to teleport Kiriko, so she ends up teleporting to the good old default coordinates, 0, 0, 0. Switching heroes happens to be the easiest way to cause this, since the old entity stops existing in the world. Fortunately, this isn't particularly abusable. An exploit like this is most effective during the setup phase, since it allows you to escape spawn before the match starts. But the developers are one step ahead. There's a failsafe in place that forcibly responds you if you're outside the spawn room during setup. Of course, teleporting outside spawn works just fine after the setup phase ends, but at this point there's much less to gain by doing this. This all leaves one question. Where is the world origin on each map? If you've seen my video about Tracer teleporting to the world origin, you'll know that this isn't the first bug of its kind, nor will it be the last. Knowing where the origin is on each map isn't really useful for general play, but it can help identify when a coordinate zeroing bug occurs. Since that video was made, there have been several new maps added to the game. You'll notice a trend where each map's world origin is pretty far out of bounds. I don't know if this is a deliberate decision or just a coincidence, but it's worth noting. Push maps are interesting since their origins are all centered with the map. This is because one half of the map is constructed and mirrored along the x-axis during the blockout phase of development. Not only does this save a lot of time, it also ensures exact symmetry between both sides of the level. And I'll throw in the practice range, just for good measure. 